Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. I recently asked you guys, where do you guys want me to find my next life hacks to try out? And an overwhelming majority of you said five minute crafts. So I guess today we're gonna be going back to our roots and trying a bunch of fun life hacks and crafts for five minute crafts. Oh boy, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I've actually done so many life hacks from five minute crafts and if you guys wanna watch that playlist that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put it right here. But don't click off yet, uh, make sure to watch this video. Anyway, let's do some hacks. Things are about to get delicious. Yeah, they're supposed to stay in there. I hate feeling all sticky. Put on the spread, add the second piece of bread, cut off all the crust. With a fork, press down all the edges. Now take your little pouch and pop it into the toaster. Then cut it down the middle. And there you have it. Oh yeah, guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is friggin' bread. You ever been hit with bread before? It's not fun, it hurts a lot actually. But not as much as getting hit with Nutella. And I'm not talking about the contents, I'm talking about the whole jar. Uh, anyway, just glob our Nutella on here. This is so much sugar. Did you guys know that half of Nutella is sugar? It says it literally right there. 21 grams out of 37 grams serving. So that's literally freaking. that's more than half. Oh my gosh. Well, it's a good thing I don't eat these very often. Just slap that on, cut our crust off, then we get our fork and just kinda start stamping this bad boy down. Uh, that's not look very good. Maybe I have to get another one and just kind of uh, put it on top of it to patch it. This bread is incredibly soft. I kind of put like a band-aid on it to kind of help it a little bit, but um, not looking too good. <laughs> I might have put a little too much Nutella on there. Anyway, I don't need this anymore. Then we go ahead, oh, the whole thing fall, fell out. Then we go ahead and break out our toaster. And then we just uh, carefully <sighs> this is totally gonna break my toaster, but I'm gonna do it for the craft. Now we just gotta wait for this to pop out. A few moments later. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, where did it go? Oh, oh my gosh, guys! It freaking works! Look! It's the perfect sandwich! <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. This is the real sandwich. Well, guys, I guess we can say this one freaking works. I hope Sophia brought a towel with her. Ooh, right in the face. They say the best pictures tell a story. Oh, oh, okay, guys, so I'm gonna have Tori Dabransky go up in that window and dump water on me right now. And I'm gonna have my buddy Kyle on standby uh, taking really fast photos of me. And we're gonna have Badge. You can do it. Badge. Come here. Come here. We're not gonna have Badge. And uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay, you ready, Tori? I'm ready. Three, two, one, and. Please tell me we got that. I really don't want to do that one again. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, my freaking face. Oh, that's great. Dude, it was a lot colder than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one freaking works. You can put candy right in the brush. They fit perfectly under the bristles. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna need is a brush. And I don't know if you could tell, but I I literally, I never brush my hair. It's just, it's always straight like this, and I don't know why. But I think I know the perfect place where I can get one. Let's just hope Tori doesn't mind. Oh, I really hate to do this, but uh, here we go. Uh, okay, okay, I see Tori. I'm gonna be really careful. Where's brush? Let's see, brush. Are you a brush? You're not a brush! You're my stickers! Well guys, I guess this is a good time to plug my merch. Just so you guys know, I got a bunch of these cute little stickers of me and the bench that I have made. That's me, that's the bench. I got blue hair. That's one of my favorite hairs. I think I'm gonna go back to blue pretty soon. I got some cool Pizza Pixel stickers. Matched my Pizza Pixel shirt, which you can also get. All my merch is gonna be down in the description down below. But anyway, we don't need freaking stickers. We need a freaking brush. Okay, and... Oh, perfect! Now that we have our brush... Okay, guys, so here's our brush, here are our Skittles, and then we just gotta take this thing off. Oh, wait, this doesn't really come out that easy. Uh, looks like I'm gonna need something to get this puppy open. Uh, nah. Maybe? Definitely not. Nope. Ooh, 
Nope, 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 nope. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and go with the screwdriver. And maybe we could just shove this in here and just pry it out, maybe? Come on, you've got this. Oh, oh, I think I did it. The goal is not to break the brush, though. Oh, come on, come on. No, I'm ripping it. Dang, they really made this brush very well. I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna try my pliers. <laughs> One of the bristles went straight into my thumbnail like that. That was not fun. Let's see, and maybe we can pull it ever so gently. I feel like I might end up breaking this thing. Uh, come on. Oh, that thing's definitely ripped. And I'm losing so many of these. Well, we're gonna just, we're just gonna go for it. Okay, you know what? The hole's big enough. We can just put our candy on there. There we go. Just kind of. Oh no! I lost my Skittles. Back here. Candy? Oh, what candy? I see no candy here. I just have a trusty brush for uh, brushing my hair, man. Oh yeah, see? My hair has never been more brushed in my life. Oh, that looks really, that looks really weird actually. Oh no. Okay. Nothing suspicious here, teacher. I just got my normal brush. <laughs> <laughs> She'll never find out. But little does she know, I'm stashing candy in this thing. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Look out, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works. And look at all that wasted cereal. I'm just gonna leave the bowl right here in this refrigerator drawer. Quick, put the cereal back on the table, Amy. Hey, what the heck happened to this stuff? I was only gone a couple of minutes. Okay guys, so here's our bowl, here's our cereal. As the great Rebecca Black said, gotta have my bowl, gotta have my cereal. I'm off to the bus stop, I see my friends. Hey friends, are you guys my friends? Please be my friends, I'm so lonely. <laughs> anyway, put the cereal inside the bowl, looks good. Nothing like a fresh bowl of Jolly Rancher cereal to start the day, am I right? Can we get our spoon and put that in there? And some fresh milk, awesome. This looks pretty dang appetizing. I feel kind of bad that I'm gonna be ruining this. Anyway, let's go put it in the freezer. Oh man, I don't have an extra hand to open the door. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's put this in here. There's no room! Where the heck am I supposed to put this? I guess right there is good. Nope. Uh, dang. I really should have cleared a spot before I did this. No, that looks fine. Okay, I will uh, see you in a little bit when you're frozen. Goodbye! Okay, how are we looking? Are you frozen? Oh, uh, good enough. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now let's go try this one out on Chris. Oh, hey, Chris, how's it going, my man? Hey, what's up, dude? I made you some cereal, because I wanted to apologize for all these mean pranks oh, I've been doing all day. Thank you. Yeah, they're Jolly Rancher flavored cereal. Isn't it, doesn't that sound so good? You've been playing! What the heck? I froze it! Spoon won't even come out. The whole bowl. You've Nothing. been freaking praying, dude! What are you doing, Chris? No, what, what are you doing? I'm sick Stop. of this. Stop, Chris, no! I'm sick of this. Chris! I love this food. You're wasteful. What are you doing to my poor cereal? No, Chris! Don't talk Chris, to me. Chris, it's only a freaking prank! Stop, talk to me. Stop. No. Chris! It's not a prank. It's not a prank. This ain't a prank! Chris, no! I saw it! I saw it! I want you to be gone, dude! It's a Too real hungry. Prank. It's a real Too hungry for this! It's a freaking prank, dude! No! Stop! No! It's a freaking prank! Chris, no! Well, guys, I guess we can say it. This one works. Take that, Chris. <laughs> okay, so you're trying to make a cake with your mixer, and then you're not paying attention, and all of a sudden, you just get the cake batter all over your face. Oh, oh my God! It's all over the walls now. All over your soda. All over your stove. And your friend just walks in. Oh, oh my God, God! What happened to you? you? <laughs> <laughs> to one of my friends, I would be very concerned as well. Here's a simple life hack. You just get a plate, flip that bad boy over, and you cut a slit where you're gonna put your mixer. Insert your mixers. Now you got a handy shield from your cake batter. Now this will never happen to you again. Unless you want it to. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Okay guys, so here's our bowl. I'm gonna try and uh, mix some flour and some water together. That looks pretty good, but you know what this needs? A little bit of food coloring to make it easier to see. Let's add it in there. Perfect. Time to mix. 
Max, Max, Max! I don't know how she managed to get it everywhere because I'm not having any problems. Oh, I'm mixing it up! I got it everywhere. This honestly isn't that big of an issue. But I guess for the sake of the crap, I'll try it. Go ahead and make a slit in our plate. Insert our mixer, put it back in the Mixatron. Now theoretically, we should have a shield against this mess. Wow, so convenient. Looks pretty good to me. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Ooh, abracadabra, alakazam. I'll get rid of the soda just because I can. Oh hey, Tori Debransky, I haven't seen you all day. Hi, sorry I was yawning, but hello. Oh, what's is that a, a sweet Coca-Cola? Yeah, it's a Coke. Do you want it? I want to show you a magic trick. You ready? Go for Here, it. Just, uh, uh, okay, so uh, first, I'm just going to break out my trusty handkerchief. Ready? And I'm going to make this Coke disappear. And one, and two, and what? You're going to throw it at me. Oh, my God. Where did it go? Tori, where did it go? Oh, my. You've been so. You didn't, you didn't even see that coming, did you? Robbie, it's on the floor. I heard it. You hit it. Onto the ground. Tori, I have something to tell you. Is have I been pranked? You've been <laughs> pranked! Robbie, what are you doing? Okay, I gotta go. Goodbye. Bye, Rob. Take a small, thin rubber band like this one and attach the earring back to it like this. Go ahead and add on about five or six more if you have them. Want to know what to do next? Hook the rubber band onto the back of your molars like this and place the band over your front teeth. Woo! Okay, so here are our earrings. Here's our rubber band. I probably shouldn't have done a blue rubber band on a blue background, but, uh... Ah! Back to yellow it is. Okay, take a few of these off. Oh boy, this crafting sure is hard work. Now I just gotta put the backs onto this rubber band. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now let's try and put this on my teeth. Here we go. So apparently, I just put them right on my teeth. So let's just, uh... It doesn't want to stay on. Uh, I think I might have to tie it a little bit. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, that that should fit. Dude, my dentist is gonna kill me if he ever watches this video. So we just uh. uh this is way harder than it looks. And there we go. Ah, oh, it doesn't like to stay. It likes to move. Okay, so as soon as I open my mouth, it comes right off. So it's really impractical. So I'm really sorry, all you e-girls that are watching this, but uh, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work. Boo! <laughs> okay guys, so here's our onion. Then we just have to cut it in half. That probably wasn't the most efficient way to do it, but you know what? Ugh, ugh, it works, okay? I just didn't want to use the whole onion. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our blender. Then we just go ahead and toss this puppy in there. Here we go. I really hope that this doesn't go horribly wrong. Okay, let's see how it turned out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to take off the sticker. Well, I mean, it's close enough. Now we just go ahead and uh, pour it all out. It's not really uh, liquidy. Ugh. I mean, it's just chopped onions with a sticker. Here we go. Ugh. My eyes burn so bad right now. Like, I think I need safety glasses. Okay, yeah, these should do. They don't really help that much. So then we get our orange. I actually don't have a watermelon at the moment, uh, so this will have to do. All peel. Then I guess we just take our orange pieces and uh, put it in the onion. Oh, man. This just, this does not look good. Ew. This is gonna taste so funky. I kind of feel bad for making Chris eat this. <laughs> He's never gonna want to come over my house ever again. I'm gonna go ahead and save this piece for me. I just have to remember which one it is. Here we go. Put that in there. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and try this out on Chris. Okay. Hair Jordan! Come here! I made you a delicious and nutritious snack! Hey, what's up? I made you some oranges! Come here! They're delicious and nutritious and, uh, they're great. I kind of don't trust it. What? Will you eat one first? Yeah, of course! Why wouldn't I? Yeah! No, it's great. Oh. Here, Chris, Chris, try it. All right, you say so. Um, 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 no. <laughs> Not bad. Chris, you've been, you've been pranked. That really didn't taste like that. <laughs> well, guys, 
And I guess if you're gonna try this one, uh, make sure that you don't get the wrong one. Okay, Tori, you ready for this? I'm, I'm ready. Okay, so here's my whoppers. Uh, so we'll try it from, where should we try this from? From the table. Okay, so I'll be right here. I'll be on table. Okay, Sorry, we'll do it from a short distance first. You ready? Okay, I, go to, I don't want to lay down on the floor, so I'm going to sit on my butt. So here's the first whopper. You ready? And candy delivery system. And... Oh yeah! Did you catch it? It works. It works? Wow! We should do it from even farther. Right now we're at about right now we're at about 140 inches. Let's do it from even farther, Tori. Oh But this time you're gonna try to get into my mouth. Oh come on. Here you go. Put this in your mouth. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, that tastes like paint. Okay, wait, what's our what's our what's our length, Tori? We're both feet! Both feet! Okay. Oh. No, it got caught on my head! Okay, let's do it again. I'll try it again. Ready? Ah! Ah! I got it! It landed in my mouth! We did it for 12 feet! Woo! Okay, let's try even farther. Okay, I'll go upstairs. You're gonna go upstairs? Okay, go upstairs. Go upstairs. Run! Run! Okay, guys. 25 feet. Let's do this. You guys ready? This is 25 feet. Oh! So close! You wanna do more? You. You're gonna do two at a time? You're ready. Oh, they're coming at me. Oh, we got one. We got one out of three. This is the most inefficient candy delivery system I've ever seen. What are you doing? You're doing the whole box? Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one kind of works. <laughs> Try this new perspective. Now pretend you're walking off the step. Whoa. stairs outside unfortunately but I do have a big old tire that Tori's gonna use to step off. Okay, so you just have to so you have to do this. Be on the very edge of it, like the edge. Okay, I'm ready. And I have good balance, so we might have to do this quick. Okay, so step out. Oh, step out. Okay, step out. You're good. Keep going. And then you gotta get your other foot. Yes, okay, I'm in the shot. Okay, we'll try it again. The bird's foot. Just a little bit out. This heel right here. <laughs> there? Right there? Oh my you god. Ready? You ready? Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, you wanna see them? Let's see how graceful I am. Okay, time to see these. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty, uh... <laughs> okay, I like. Yeah, you like that so far? That's another oh, one? No. Yeah? Oh, I like that one. <laughs> Here, the panic. <laughs> oh, no, okay, so that's that one. Yes, yeah, oh, yeah, look good. <laughs> okay, I guess you wanna try it with me? Yeah. So I have to be, like, on the very edge. I might step on my phone. I'm risking my phone for this. Okay, ready? And... You might have gotten it. Let's look. I think I think we might need to go wider or taller. I need another tire. Take that. Tori, I think I broke my spine. Tori, you mean? I need to go to the hospital. Take me through the box portal now. Okay, you want to try it again? Stand on it. Oh, I'm standing on it. Okay, so you do it like this, and then you gotta lay down. Hi, okay. You ready? If you step on me, I will cry. I'm ready, Tori. Ready? And. Okay, Tori, to Bransky. Yes, a classic. Looks oh, pretty. Okay. Yes. Dude, my legs look like 30 feet long. 10 out of 10. Yes. <laughs> you just have one. Oh my god, I'm so upside down. I can't look at these photos. You like off your screen. Wow. Great. Looks good. Wow, pretty good. Wow, I definitely look like I'm floating. I look pretty floating. We're just waiting for you. <laughs> I look like I'm floating. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works. Woo! Get a plastic bag like this and fill it with your favorite snacks. Here's the plastic with metal rings. Binders are perfect for this. It'll lay flat as if it were paper. Okay, so one thing that you guys are probably thinking is, Robbie, I know you've been stuck in this box for like six months, but how do you feed yourself? And to that I say, I have a very healthy supply of beef jerky and monster. Oh, but I also have a pretty decent supply of candy. Probably honestly, a little too much candy. I just have so much, and I have no good way of organizing it. So hopefully this will be a way better way for me to organize my candy. Oh yeah, this needs to be organized. I have too much freaking candy. So we're just gonna put all this off to the side for a little bit. Here's our organizer, here's our freezer bag. 
bags. Let's just uh, open some of these up, shall we? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is put all the same kind of candy in this bag. This is gonna take a while, and I'm really sorry. I apologize in advance. And my dum-dums. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit this guy in here. I'll figure something out to do with this. Oh no, and this one! Oh, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. You know what? Get that out of here. Okay, so now that I got this mostly in bags, we're gonna try and fit all this into here. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can do it. We're just gonna open this up. I feel like I should do it in alphabetical order. It always seems right. So let's see, A, B, let's see here. Gummy worm, waffles, uh, okay. So we'll start off with D for mini donuts. I think all they did was like just make a little hole in the bag like that. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's looking pretty good so far. Fun fact, guys, I actually went to a college prep class for like all of high school, and one of the big things that I had to do was organize my binder. So I feel like I am more than prepared for this. Okay, so we got D for mini donuts. Do I have B for bubble gum? That would have gone before. A, B, C, D. My perfectly organized candy binder. So we got D for donut, D for dum dums, gummy worm, R for ring pop. Oh, anyway, managed to fit most of the candy. I went from this box full of candy to this organized thing full of candy. Great, great way to organize your candy. Great way to organize anything, honestly. It doesn't quite take up as little amount of space as the box, but but yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to say this one freaking works. For this prank, you'll need to fill a big bowl up with Jello mix. Next, pour in some hot water and be sure to stir it up really well. Make sure all the granules are dissolved. Now that that's done, it's time to get Lana's computer mouse we snuck away. Go ahead and pop that bowl into the fridge for a couple of hours. When you flip the bowl over, you should be able to slide out the jello in one swift move. We'll miss this mouse. Okay, so here's our jello. So the instructions say to boil two cups of water. So here's our water boiler. Let that boil real quick. Perfect. Ding! Fries are done. Put that hot water in the bowl. Open up our jello packet. Dump that in there. I haven't used the old Mixitron 5000 in a while, so might as well give this bad boy a whirl. And here we go. In retrospect, it's probably a bad idea to mix boiling hot jello with the Mixitron because it'll get everywhere and possibly get on me, but you know, it's fine. We do this all the time. Okay, it looks good. Now let's go ahead and put this in the fridge. Oh, one more thing. I forgot the mouse. Oh, I don't think I have enough jello. I gotta cover it up even more. Oh man, if this mouse didn't work before, it's definitely not gonna work now. I definitely need to add a little bit more gelatin. Yes, there we go. I want this to be a solid gelatin mass. Mix that up. Yes! Okay, now we can put it in the fridge. Oh, I can't open my fridge again. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now I have to wait a couple hours. Let's hope this gets jellified. Okay, guys, let's see if this is uh, jellified yet. Okay, looks pretty good to me. Okay, it looks like Chris still has the guest room. You can hide the camera behind the computer a little bit so that he doesn't see it. Okay, now I just have to flip the ball over. One, two, and... That was really loud. <gasps> it's stuck. Oh, shoot, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, there we go. Well, I guess it's time to test this out on Chris. Hey, hey Chris, don't mind me. I was just, I gotta go. Okay. Uh. All right. Dude, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? I put your mouse in jello. Oh my god. Why? That's what you get. Uh, why? Electronic. You can't put it in jello. This isn't the office. Do I look like bright truth to you? Take that! Well, guys, I guess we can say this one works. It's not working. <laughs> 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 
it. It's really not working. Looks like I broke his mouse. Oh, yum, yum. I love myself some tasty za. <laughs> but the pizza place forgot to cut it. Oh, how annoying. Well, I have a solution for you. You could just try using a knife, but that just doesn't work. So instead, just grab yourself a nice tuna lid, drill a hole right in the center, and attach it to a ruler using a bolt. Now you have yourself a completely functional pizza cutter. So convenient. But does it actually work? Let's find out. Okay guys, so here's our can. A nice refreshing can of ravioli. Ooh, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off. There we go, yeah, nice and clean. Here's our ruler. Now we just need a bolt. Luckily, thanks to my last video, I am super organized with all my bolts now. There we go. Full washer, perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole in this bad boy. Yeah, that ought to do it. I feel like I should take off this tab. Well, might as well. Haha! -ha. All we gotta do is put this over here, line up the holes, put in the bolt, screw it all together. Now theoretically, we got ourselves a working pizza cutter. Yeah, I think this might just work. Let's try this bad boy out. So here is our beautiful pizza. Let's see if this bad boy works. Here we go. It's actually starting to cut it. Whoa, this is amazing. It's definitely a little hard to cut it still. And this ruler is kind of sharp. This kind of sucks as a pizza cutter, if I'm being honest. Like, it doesn't really cut it that well. I definitely think if this can lid was a little sharper, it would be a lot easier. If you really want to get down to it, it does kind of do the job. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, uh, it kind of works. I would give it a solid uh, six out of 10. Not my favorite hack ever, but you know, they tried. <laughs> Spray one half of the cookie with oil. Then cover it with hot glue. When it's dry, take the cookie out. This will serve as a mold for you to put eraser clay in and put them into the box. Prank is ready. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and put down the parchment paper. That way it doesn't stick to our surface. That's very important. Here we get our Oreos. There we go. I just need one, just a single one. Ooh, perfect. Here we go ahead and break out our hot glue gun. Cover it in hot glue. Let's do this. Oh wait, no. I need to spray it in pan first, my bad. Here we go ahead and spray it in oil. I way overdid that. Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Okay, you know what? We got our hot glue gun. Let's cover this bad boy up. Yes, get it all over it. You have to make the mold. Let's cover this whole thing up. Now to wait for this to cool down a little bit. Okay, it is nice and cooled down. Let's try and take it out now. Oh, perfect. Yes, it looks good. Get out of there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any moldable erasers, but I do have crayon. So, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna melt some of this crayon into this. This should work perfectly, honestly. Just break out my liner, just melt it in there. I don't see this is uh, going wrong at all. Some of the paper caught on fire, that is fine. Ugh, won't go out. Okay, next color. Let's try some red. Now for some green. Okay, yeah. Now I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit, and then we'll try and get it out. Okay, this looks pretty freaking dry. Let's do this. You ready to take it out? Yes! This looks beautiful. This looks just like an Oreo. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back with the other ones. Yes, it blends in perfectly. Tori will never notice. Now let's go test this out. Tori Nebraska, yes? I got you some Oreos. Oh, thank you. I like Oreos. Try the colorful one. It's colorful. Why is this one so much to say? It's a special edition Oreo. It's a, it's a bonus Oreo. It doesn't smell very. I don't really want this one. Here, I'll eat it. Tony Bratsky, are you saying that this is a real Oreo? Oh, it's delicious. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you put that in your mouth? It's really, it was really good. You want some? <laughs> Give me mom a very good. Really good. Hey, hey, here. So proud. So proud. You've been pranked. It's all on my floor. It wasn't a real Oreo. That was Wait. crayon. How gross. I can't believe you ate that knowing you it's crayon. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works. That's like gross. If you find yourself boasting an oily sheen, try using a toilet seat cover to blot your skin with. Simply put the paper to your skin and watch it absorb the grease right off your face. And before you know it, you'll be fresh faced and ready to go. Where am I supposed to get one of those? Let's go to the Adventure Mobile. <laughs> Let's go to Walmart. Oh, 
Okay, so here we are at Walmart. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see if they have any of those toilet seat covers. Let's do it. Okay guys, so we have our toilet seat covers. They're a little uh, they're a little messed up now, but I think <laughs> I think they should still work, right? Now I just have to figure out a way to get sweaty. Oh, I have the perfect idea. Okay guys, let's ride. Let's do this. 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 That might be good. Okay, I'm all sweaty. As you can see, the glistening on my forehead, slightly damp. Let's see this. Ooh, so this is one sheet. I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh, that's a lot of sweat up there. Oh, it's sticking to my face! <laughs> oh my gosh, is it working? My head is a little bit more dry there. Wow, I got some, I got a really dirty face. It's still sticking. I mean, I personally wouldn't go out of my way to steal toilet seat covers from a store just to do this. But I mean, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. I have a fake hand like this one. After you stick it in your sleeve, place your arm on the edge of the car door or trunk, just like this. Once the trunk closes on your fake hand, it's showtime. Ah, Lily, my hand is stuck. What? Oh no! Ha, you've been totally fooled, Lily. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I need to do is put on a sweater. <laughs> Perfect. It is kind of hot to be wearing a sweater right now, but I don't think Chris will notice. And the next thing I need is a hand. Unfortunately, I don't have a hand the size of my hand, but I do have a fake baby hand. I'm pretty sure Chris wouldn't notice the difference. Let's go try this bad boy out. Hey, Chris. Hey, what's up? I'm really sorry for all these pranks I've been doing on you. I would like to take you to the movies as an apology for everything that's been going on. Yeah? You want to go? I'd love to go to the movies. Sick, let's go. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I just got to get on my shoes really quick. This is harder than I thought. Good enough. Okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, 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 I got it. I got it. Hey, Chris, do you think you could open the trunk for me? Yeah. There you go. Oh, thanks, dude. Yep, just as I thought. Still a mess. Yeah, you can uh, you can go ahead and close it. Oh! Oh! oh my God! My God! Break! I can't believe you fell for that. It's giving a thumbs up. I guess we can say this one works. <laughs> Anybody home in there? Just let the salt help you out. Simply rub it on these bumps. The vibration loosens the clog at the hole. Okay guys, so here's our salt and pepper. So we have a pesky, oh no, uh. <laughs> we have a, dang it, this pepper shaker actually works. We have a pesky working, Ugh. it freaking works. What are we, what are we supposed to do? Um, apparently if I do this, wow, it's coming out and I don't even have to try. Look at all Freaking pepper! What? Oh my god! Guys! I'm gonna test to see if it's actually pepper. Oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> That's definitely pepper! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works! Hey, you ever wanna just randomly dye your hair in the middle of a freaking video? I'm a blue hair! I'm back to being a blue boy! Yes. Let's do this! Anyway... You can pretend you're somewhere you're not. <sighs> I'm having so much fun. Looks like fake it till you make it really works. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna need some palm trees. Woo! Let's go to the beach, beach, let's go hit a wave. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, yeah, that looks, uh, that looks pretty good. Now for my blue screen. This is a green screen, but on the other side, it's it's, it's blue. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, put this back here, pretty good. I just gotta figure out a way to make the shadow my face like this. Wait, my hair freaking blends in the back right now! I didn't think about this! Okay, so what I ended up doing is I got this light, and it's pointing at the palm tree, and it's going at this. And it kind of it kind of shows like the palm tree. Maybe if I adjust it a little bit, like oh uh, oh there we go. I just need to get it closer. Hey, do I get even more? Yes. Okay, let's try it. So I'm just gonna hide behind the palm tree and just be. Like, oh my god, this is great. Wow, my hair looks purple there. That 
I should do purple highlights. That would look sick. I need to point this down a little bit because you can't even see me. Please don't fall on me. I don't want to die. Oh my god, I'm in Hawaii. But the joke's on you guys because I'm not actually in Hawaii. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and post this and see how many of you guys actually fall for it. Hawaii is beautiful this time of year. Okay, uh, add location, Hawaii. You guys will fall for it, watch. And I'm going to share. Let's see how many of you guys actually fall for this. And boy, does Lana have a good one up her sleeve. Is that food coloring? My job is done here. I don't want to get any cavities. Um... Okay guys, so I know for a fact that Chris brushes his teeth every single day at exactly 2.45 p.m. So this looks like the perfect opportunity to prank him. Oh hey Chris, uh, uh, dude. how's it going? Good. Yeah? Okay, good, he's distracted. Here's his toothbrush. I think Chris's favorite color is green. Luckily that's what I got to match his hair. Oh, hey, Chris. Is it cool if I sit here? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, oh, boy. Sorry. Oh, man. Yeah. It's like a little past 2 30. It's a pretty good time. You know? It's a good part of the day, you know? 2 30, a little bit past 2 30. Yeah. That's yeah, nice. Oh, hey, I gotta go brush my teeth over here. Oh, back. yeah, no problem. Yeah, I know that's really important to you. What's what? wrong, Chris? Uh, hey, no! Did you do this? Do you like your new wings? Do you like it? You matches your hair! What is this? I thought we're not okay. Favorite color this is not okay. This is not okay. Dude, oh my god, is this gonna stain? Yes! I just whitened my teeth. <laughs> this is really gonna stain. <laughs> You've been great! Not even coming off my lips. This is like lipstick now. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works! Dude. <laughs> Take that, Chris! That's what you get for pranking me, dude! Okay, so here's another recipe for rainbow kettle corn. And this one is from Tasty. And boy, does that look tasty. What you're gonna wanna do is get 12 tablespoons of sugar and divide it, add food coloring, into each one, just like this. So many different colors! Then you just mix, 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 until the sugar's all different colors. Put some coconut oil, then you add your popcorn kernels, and individually do the colors. Then you just shake it up, shake, 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 shake it! Yeah! You just shake up all the popcorn individually with the colored food dye sugar, and you should have colored popcorn. Ooh, add a little bit of salt. Wow! That looks <laughs> tasty. <laughs> and when you're done, you just mix all the different colored popcorns together. Dang, that looks pretty sick. I think that this one might work a little bit better than the last one. Uh, let's try it. Okay, so instead of doing six different colors, I'm just gonna go ahead and do three for the sake of simplicity. And we need 12 tablespoons of sugar. One, two, four, cool. Go ahead and add our food dye. Boop, boop, boop. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, this is gonna be a little harder than I thought. It just kind of clumps together. I think the solution here is more food dye. Yeah, red looks pretty good. Now to do the blue and green. Wow, yeah, these look very vibrant. I'm pretty happy with these. Okay, let's try and cook them. Here's our stove. Turn on our heat. Add our coconut oil. This one is uh, pet friendly, so the bench can eat it. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to break off. I think it's because it was frozen. This is proving to be a lot harder than I thought. Yeah, that ought to do it. And the instructions said to just add two pieces of popcorn kernels and wait till it pops, and then you know it's ready. This is a lot of smoke. I added a couple more. Oh, one did it. That's a lot of smoke. Well, I guess it's good enough. Just gonna add my popcorn kernels, add my sugar. And I think we just mix it up a little bit. I probably shouldn't be using a plastic fork for this. There we go. Go ahead and add the lid. 
Shake it. Oh my gosh, it's actually popping. Oh, it's starting to turn red. Dude, this is awesome. Okay, guys, so my camera started overheating, so I didn't really get a majority of this popcorn popping. By the looks of it, it's actually starting to turn red. I'm gonna finish cooking it really quick. Shake, shake, shake. Oh my gosh, it's popping. Maybe I should have gotten a bigger pan. Oh no, I put it in the bowl. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm so glad this is actually working. Oh, dude, it all fell out. Oh my gosh. So far, this is pretty sick. It's actually working. Look, all the popcorn's red. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two colors. Some coconut oil. Boopity boop. Mix, mix, mix. doesn't look as good as the red. Okay, on to the green. Okay. Yeah, green looks nice and mixed. Ooh, and the green is done. Wow. It turned out pretty good. It looks like St. Patrick's Day popcorn or something. Go ahead and add it into the bowl. Oh, oh no. I completely burned the bottom part. Guys, I'm still the craft king, okay? Add the blue. Wow, now we got ourselves some rainbow popcorn. Okay, so this looks pretty good, but does it taste any good? Let's try it. It, it kind of tastes like kettle corn. It's not bad. It's not the best kettle corn I've ever had in my life. I definitely think that this one turned out way better than the one, two, three, go version. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that the one from Tasty works. Just a couple more colors. Looks like nothing but water at first. But then everything changes. Okay, so here's our plate. Here are our Skittles. Just uh, go ahead and pour some of these bad boys out. Woo, looks good. So now we gotta start uh, ordering these bad boys. Let's do this. So under close consideration, there's no blue Skittles. What the heck? Dude, how have I never noticed there aren't blue Skittles? But luckily I got these wild berry Skittles, so I think we have a lot more variety here. Pick out the blues. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Oh man, Skittles are too freaking good. I can already tell like I'm gonna have so many cavities after this video. I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, let's do this. Let's make the freaking rainbow. And we are all done. It looks freaking perfect, dude. So here's our spray, and I'm just gonna get a syringe like that. I'm using a syringe because I feel like it'll give me a little bit more control over this whole thing. I really don't wanna mess up because uh, I don't have the patience to do this again. <laughs> okay, here we go, you ready? Oh, is it starting to work? Whoa. I'm gonna add some water to the middle. Maybe that'll help it. Okay, Skittles, do your thing. I believe in you. Whoa, it's actually doing it. Dude, this is so cool. Holy crap. Dang, that is really clean, actually. Wow, I was not expecting this. Dude, this is so freaking clean. Wow. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one freaking works. Also, it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we figure out the thumbnail. Woo! Uh, yeah, this is basically the thumbnail. So that ought to do it. <laughs> Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Look at my best fight right down there. If you guys want to watch me try even more fun life hacks, crafts, and experiments, I have a whole playlist that can be doing that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Do you guys want to see all new clips from my videos before they come out? Let me a channel called Robbie Clips where you can see my favorite videos that I've done and also brand new videos before they come out. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ending. Okay, bye. Ah!